So what's the difference between long-sightedness and presbyopia? Well, long-sightedness is where the optics of the eye are not powerful enough. So if you think of the eye as a camera, film at the back, lens at the front, the optics aren't strong enough, which means that light coming from distance where the light rays are parallel are focused, brought into focus behind the back of the eye, so they're in a blur. Things that are up close, even worse. Presbyopia is the loss of ability to shift focus from distance to near and back out. So that affects all of us. All of us, as the natural lens inside the eye goes on its journey to becoming a cataract, it gradually hardens up. And whether you're short-sighted, have perfect distance vision, or are long-sighted, you're going to experience in your mid-40s, typically mid to late 40s, frustration with shifting focus from distance to near and back out again. So they're quite distinct things. What you do find is that people who are long-sighted may not actually be aware that they're a bit long-sighted because of their accommodation. So accommodation is the name we give to that ability to shift focus. And someone who's a little bit long-sighted, typically in their 20s, will have great vision because they will accommodate a little bit. They'll use that flexibility of the lens to bring distance objects into focus. And then they'll contract that ring of muscle and make the lens even more powerful to see for near. And in their early 20s, they can do that very effectively. So you find that patients who are long-sighted tend to get hit earlier and harder by presbyopia. So it unmasks their long-sightedness. So they'll typically be the kind of person who, in their 30s, might start to notice, hang on, I'm not seeing so well for near. But their friends are okay, but they start noticing they have to hold things a bit further away. And it's only much later, when the presbyopia has really taken hold and that lens is really stiffened up, that their blurry distance vision becomes unmasked. And actually, they'll start wearing their specs for distance. Interestingly, a lot of um, long-sighted patients, even though they may attend an optometrist and their optician may say, here you go, look, you should wear those for driving, they'll often not wear them because they find that actually they feel okay, they feel the distance, distance vision isn't too bad. What they almost invariably can't do after the age of 40 or so is, is sit up close for near. Um, so they're, they're two different things. Presbyopia, aging of the inside of the eye, long-sightedness, blurring of distance vision, even worse for near.